today I thought we'd share a story called You Can't Eat a Princess. I wonder what this story might be about. I think I can see a princess. But I can also see lots of other things. Hmm. I wonder. It's nearly time for my party, said Princess Spaghetti. Is everything ready? Chocolate spread sandwiches? Yes. Extra thick chocolate milkshakes? Yes. An enormous chocolate birthday cake? Yes. One king waiting to greet the guests? No. King Cupcake's throne was empty except for a note. We have taken your king. You will never find us. We come from another planet. Ha ha! Oh no, cried Princess Spaghetti. King Cupcake has been kidnapped by aliens. <sighs> Golly gosh. Can you believe that? Kidnapped by aliens. Oh dear, I wonder where they might have taken him. Princess Spaghetti summoned the royal knights. One of you will have to rescue King Cupcake, she said. Don't look at me, sniffed the first royal knight. I can't possibly go out in this weather. I'll catch a cold. <laughs> I'm in the middle of knitting a jumper for my teddy, whinged the second royal knight. I can't stop now. Well, I can't go, fussed the third royal knight. Very well, said Princess Spaghetti. I guess I'll have to go myself. And she scooted off to the royal garage, where she found the royal rocket. And she climbed aboard. Goodness, look at all these buttons. Which one should I press, she wondered. I'll just press them all. Do you think that's a good idea? The royal rocket moved to the left. To the right. And finally... Up and away into space, Princess Spaghetti steered the royal rocket between sparkling stars and strangely shaped planets. Father must be here somewhere, she told herself. Golly, that planet there looks like something I recognise. Just then, a shooting star whizzed past whiz followed by a speeding comet zoom princess spaghetti tried to avoid them and swerved to the side but the rocket began to spin uncontrollably <laughs> princess spaghetti grabbed the controls and squealed i'll have to make an emergency landing she landed neatly on the nearest planet a group of aliens were looking up at her and smiling I'm Princess Spaghetti, she said, with a polite curtsy. Welcome to our planet, said one alien. We love princesses here. I like mine with chips, said another alien. I like mine on toast with a bit of ketchup, said a third. Yum, yum. Princess Spaghetti. Oh, I wonder, how might she get out of this predicament? What might she be able to do to save herself? Golly gosh. You can't eat a princess, said Princess Spaghetti. I'm looking for my father, King Cupcake. Have you seen him? The aliens shook their heads, but the princess wasn't, wasn't convinced. She looked closer at the aliens and gasped. You're wearing King Cupcake's crown, she said. Have you eaten my dad? Not yet said the alien, licking his lips. Take me to him at once, demanded Princess Spaghetti. The aliens were getting worried. They didn't like their dinner shouting at them, so they led her to a large cooking pot. King Cupcake was inside. Father, cried Princess Spaghetti, what are you doing in there? I'm having a swim. The water's lovely and warm, said King Cupcake. But father, she said, these aliens are planning to eat you. Well, I won't let them. She pointed to the nearest alien and said, 
get my father out at once. The aliens didn't move. Princess Spaghetti had had enough. Now, she commanded in her most princessy voice. The aliens knew they had met their match. King Cupcake was helped out of the pot. Princess Spaghetti gave him a big hug. What are we going to eat now? asked a worried alien. How about some chocolate? suggested Princess Spaghetti. What chocolate? asked the alien. Princess Spaghetti was shocked. You've never had chocolate? Well, you must come with me at once. The aliens were too frightened to disobey her, so they followed Princess Spaghetti home. Princess Spaghetti finally arrived at her party. Try this, she said kindly, giving each alien a huge piece of chocolate cake. Delicious, said the first alien who tried it, and then he fainted with joy. Now that you know how wonderful chocolate is, you'll never have to eat a person again, said Princess Spaghetti. I would, one of the aliens whispered to his friend, if they were covered in chocolate. <laughs> oh my... I wonder if you had had somebody taken from you by aliens, what would you feed them to get them to stop eating them? Would you feed them cabbage, do you think? Would you feed them nuts, peanut butter, cake, crab's legs? Oh, I wonder. Have a think about it and let me know. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.